Phuket is Thailand's largest island and it's known for its beaches, its incredible views and its nightlife. Today I'm going to be showing you Phuket's top attractions. There are over 25 Buddhist temples on the island and Washalong is the most famous. It's a three story temple and it's well known because it houses a bone relic of the Buddha. Admission is free. Here we are at Phuket's Big Buddha. This Buddha measures 45 meters in height and looks over southern Phuket. For most areas in the southern part of the island, you can see him, and as you can see, the complex has not been completed yet, so anything you donate or buy here goes directly towards the construction of the site. If you have a car, it's very easy to get here, and admission is free. Long Road, the most famous street in Phuket town. They actually applied for UNESCO World Heritage recognition. The street is made up of Sino Portuguese mansions and shop houses, and most of them have been either rebuilt, repainted, or remodeled. On the ground level, there's restaurants, cafes, and boutiques. I'm gonna show you around the street. Follow me. Today I'm going to show you some of the top beaches in Phuket and we're starting here at the most touristic beach of them all. It's called Patong Beach. The beach has many restaurants, cafes and water sport activities and I haven't even seen one Thai person here yet. It is a beautiful beach though so you have to see it. Now follow me. Another beautiful beach here in Phuket is Surin Beach. It's only a 15 minute drive north of Patong Beach and it's the perfect place to get a quiet lunch, take a dip, or go snorkeling. We're here on Bang Tao Beach, the third beach that I want to show you today on the western coast of the island. This is a more family oriented beach, it's less touristy and more relaxing. Phuket has dozens of beaches, not just these three, and the western coast is easier for swimming, the eastern coast tends to be more muddy. It's been a long hot day, now let's go for a swim. Today we're going to be exploring Pangnang Bay with Captain Mark's Phuket Alternative Tours. Seeing the Thai Islands by boat is the best way to appreciate them and today we've signed on for a full day speedboat tour. Now follow us, we're going to see some amazing locations. Hello, we're at Ladding Island. This is Paradise Beach on Ladding Island. We're in the Krabi Islands there on the east side of Hang Nga Bay. We're just talking to our friends here, the tiger fish in the water. In Thailand they're called tiger fish because of their stripes. In English they're sergeant major fish. Very pretty spot. Clear water, white sand beach, lovely scenery and tropical fish. This is a big tree. It's a thousand year old Baldi tree. These trees are sacred in Thailand. The Lord Buddha was apparently sitting under a Baldi tree two and a half thousand years ago when he reached enlightenment. So all Baldi trees are sacred to the Buddhist people. We're here at the elementary school in the still Muslim village of Panyi in Pangna Bay. Now Sui, tell me a little bit about the village. Well, for this village, the population is about 1,800 people. And the amazing thing is they've been here for about 200 years. in a 
area of Panak Island. But for the cave, we are going in. It's called Mangrove Cave. Uh, we are going to walk into the dark cave for about 50 meters. The end of the way, we will show you the secret lagoons. And we can see some kind of sea animals inside that lagoon. So This is the mangrove home, the hidden lagoon inside Banak Island, created by erosion. This fills up with water twice a day, about this deep. Now at low tide we can walk around inside, got a nice sandy base for us to walk on. We're going to have a look around, we'll see a stone dolphin, a seahorse, a dog, a dragon, and then we're going to see some mud skippers, some walking fish. We're here at Panak Island, right in the middle of Pangna Bay. This is one of the quieter places and it's one of my favourite places as well. I'm going to show you something very special right now. We're going to go and see the haunted pirate cave. In this cave, it's believed the pirates used to have their hideout. There's a lot of evidence that the pirates used to hide in here. Like we believe they've buried their treasure. The place has been dug up looking for hidden treasure. People believe the ghost of the pirate still remains here and his job is to protect their hidden treasure. Below the picture of the pirate ship, you can see another earlier drawing of a ship. Just about faded away. Done by the pirates, 150, 200, 300 years ago. Who knows? So the day has come to an end. It's been a long full day of activities with Captain Mark. Next time you're in Phuket, don't miss the opportunity to visit some of the smaller islands in the bay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up, and watch some other travel episodes.